Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun shop with me trip. So I am taking you guys along with me. We're going to Crate and Barrel Home Goods and we may have a little surprise stop on the way home. Okay, I'll tell you guys now, it's Ross, so stick around. Hey guys, so we are headed into Crate and Barrel. We're looking for a couple new pieces and we're gonna take you guys along with us. We got this little helper with us today too. So, let's go. Also, quick reminder, if you're not yet following me on Instagram, head on over and give me a follow at Valerie Aguirre. I share a lot of behind the scenes there. So right off the bat, I could tell that things were a little bit sparse there, um, but we will go ahead and look anyway. So right off the bat, this chair caught my eye. This is the Seychelle. I think I'm pronouncing that right from Crate and Barrel. The regular price is $13.99, but the warehouse price is $4.19. This fabric and color is not on the website, but they do have other options available. Okay, so I saw this one and had to test it out. This sofa is a dream. This is the Ever slip covered sofa from the Leanne Ford collection or collaboration with Crate and Barrel. You guys, it is like a dream. So they're asking $4.59, regular price over $2,000. It's a little different style, but it is so beautiful. This is the Lumen in the white linen armless. These are actually just pieces that go with the sectional and they are so deep. If you can see how deep that sofa is, you guys, oh my gosh, it is so good. This is the Tyson chair with the brass legs, and I like some clean lines. That is a sleek chair. And this chair is the Laredo brown leather dining chair from Crate and Barrel, and they go for $2.69 online. In the warehouse, they're asking $89 for this one. They only had one available, but this was recently seen. My sister let me know on Julia Markham. Chris loves Julia. She did 12 of those chairs in her dining room. And this is the Logan Gray Boucle sofa. This sofa felt like a teddy bear, you guys. It is so good. They were asking $5.99. This one is out of stock everywhere, so. It's hard to find, but it is at the warehouse. And this is also not available online. This is the EAO, or I hope I'm saying that right, um, little bar console. And I think you can put wine bottles in there. I imagine you could. It did have a big gash right on the corner, but you could always flip it around. But that marble, a very pretty piece. And this piece, I seriously sat they're contemplating for probably about 15 minutes if I should take this home. This is the Blake Media Console in the carbon color, and this is so beautiful. I was thinking about getting this for my entryway and getting rid of my little light wood colored entry table, but it was $449, priced down from over $1,500. And moving on to home goods and Right away, I went into their kind of glassware in their vases just because I have a little project that I am going to be working on next week. So I needed to check out some vases. So I'm looking for a specific shape and they actually had a lot of really interesting shapes for all different prices. And I was pleasantly surprised with how much glassware and vases and how much variety they had. So if you're looking for vases for like events, weddings, baby showers, definitely check this area out. Home goods, the prices you guys just cannot beat. Even somewhere like Goodwill or a thrift store, it's gonna be very similar to these prices. So might as well check it out. This was the perfect neutral poof, although $70 for a poof, uh, I don't know, but it has a really cute pattern. I love that little stitching, very nice neutral. This mirrored tray caught my eye. It was super heavy, a very nice piece in my opinion for like a dining table or console table. A little modern with a little bit of glam in there, but definitely pretty, especially with like candles or something. I could see this on a dining table. I think they were asking $39.99 for that one, but it's a good size. They had a really pretty little blush pink crystal in here, so I had to stop and look at that. They were asking 
asking $29.99 for that one. It was definitely a good size, very heavy. If you are into the crystals, check out Home Goods. They always have a bunch of them. They also had this little set right up top. If you are more of a colorful type person, I actually really like that kind of green topaz, is it topaz color? Um, or no, like maybe an emerald, I don't know. These are always perfect for outdoors. I love these trays, especially this one kind of reminded me of like bamboo a little bit. Very cute, and I like that dark wood right in the center there. This is perfect for like entertaining, although I don't know how much entertaining we're gonna be doing this year, but I have high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> this little basket these were always hard to find and they're hard to find in sets of two or three because I feel like you can't just have one you have to have a set but $24.99 for that one they had this little macrame guy right here it was $16.99 but it was kind of a mess it was all tangled up in there so I was not about to no wasn't about to do that for some reason, my home goods doesn't always have a lot of books. So I was surprised to see this one, but you guys wait for it. Look how weird this is. So $39.99. Is it just me or is this title like facing the wrong way? So like it faces upwards, but the title is facing upward. Does that make sense? It's, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't look right. So I passed on that one and the next one is also very pretty, but I like to take the paper cover off of my books and I always like to see what they look like inside and that gray was just a little bit too gray for me and I kind of didn't like the font on the side either. So that's how I pick my books out. <laughs> Okay, and these, I have never seen anything like this before. These are Nicole Miller and they were $69.99 a piece. There was two of them and they are these really tall planters. Perfect for an outdoor space. I love the wood. I love all of that texture. It's very warm. That would bring so much to an outdoor space. This was a cute little swivel upholstered chair asking $2.99 for it and it came with that little pillow. Very round, modern, kind of was like a grayish bluish color in there, but very nice material. And you guys look at that faux ficus tree. If you haven't seen my faux ficus DIY, go check it out. Okay, this lamp, I debated on this lamp, for a good 10 to 15 minutes too. It's made in India, they're asking $99.99. I loved this kind of modern industrial lamp. I, I actually wanted it for my office. Um, I ended up passing on it just because I wasn't sure about that brassy color, but it is good. And then this was more of a safer choice. I feel like $79.99, it's Tari. Just black and white, a little bit more simple, but I liked that kind of tripod style lamp. It's a little bit more modern and those legs are just so pretty, but I ended up passing. I'm gonna wait and see a little bit more with our office. This is a really good little accent chair, $2.99. I love the plaid. The fabric is pretty good. It's not bad at all. So moving on to the pillows and that, yep, that just happened. Um, this green one was actually really pretty. The fill was good. It had a nice zipper and then that cute little tassel on the end. But yeah, you guys, I am always obsessed with the fill. And this home goods trip did not disappoint on the pillows. They actually had quite a bit to choose from. Choppable, very nice. These did not have a price tag on them, but I think they come in that pack of two for probably $24.99, I imagine. This two pack of pillows was from Rodeo Home, $24.99, and the fabric on these was so nice. The color was like a kind of grayish, bluish, but the fill, they're a little thin, but really, really cute pillows. This one was the only pillow like it. Um, believe me, I looked and this one, I could not get it to stand up so I could chop it, but it was so nice. This would be perfect for a bed if there were multiples. A sofa, $16.99, and do you see how it holds its shape so nice? This is a good quality pillow from Casa Decor Home. That is a good one. I think it's goose down in the middle. 
So this pillow, I actually contemplated taking home with me. I love that pattern and it had like that raised kind of embroidery, I guess you would call it. No tag on it, so no price, but the fill was really good and the colors were just so pretty. This little green one was a cutie too, but that, I don't know. I just liked it, I could not tell you why. I just liked that pillow a lot. Very, very pretty. This pillow was really interesting. It had a really neat print on it. It wasn't like embroidered in there. I think it was actually like printed. It was made in Portugal and it was $24.99. Very good fill and the colors I think is what got me. I kind of like those warmer colors with a little bit of that gray in there. I just love that combo. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing towels or not, but I needed some new hand towels. I like to refresh my hand towels in the kitchen for maybe like every six months to a year, we need new towels and they just get old and dingy and stuff. So I always like to get cute ones, especially with spring coming and I could not get that off for the life of me. And this little plaid was cute and the stripes, all of these little dish towels. Do you guys get excited over things like dish towels? I love getting new dish towels. <laughs> these were another set of the Cynthia Rowley and these ones were cute, that little terracotta color. These felt a little bit more on the thin side so I don't know how effective they are with drying your dishes or whatever hands but they're cute home goods is always a good place for linen napkins they have sets of linen napkins for very inexpensive especially around the holidays if you're going to do like a nice dinner or something always check out the linen napkins i ended up getting these actually they weren't these exact ones but they are the Turkish cotton. So we'll see how those work. Mine were a little bit warmer color. Okay, so I popped into Ross really, really quick and this basket, that little handle needed to be glued back on, but it was $19.99. This is the small one, but remember I had said like these are really hard to find in like sets, right? So they only had one on the shelf and my Ross, you guys, it's hit and miss. Sometimes you find nothing and sometimes you find really good stuff at Ross. So you just gotta pop in and see what they have. Their imports are where it's at. That is my favorite thing when going to Ross or their imported home decor. This basket was $24.99, so beautiful. But it was missing like, see that little piece right there on the top that's kind of unraveling. And then this one had a few broken sticks as well, but these are so beautiful and the prices are just unbeatable. I love Ross for that, but it's really hit or miss with this store. What do you guys think? Do you guys go to Ross a lot? Do you ever find anything? Let me know. These little trays were really cute, kind of that same idea with the weaving around the top. This one was $7.99, $8.99, or $6.99, $7.99, $8.99. I think that's how it went. They had this set of three, and then right over here, they had it in black. So these are so cute for entertaining. I have been looking for a matching set of baskets for under my entry console table. These were $15.99, although I don't think they were the same size, but these baskets were woven so well. They were like really, really strong and sturdy, if you know what I mean. They, those were good baskets. These storage compartments are so good for a kid's room. I want to work on my boy's room. They share a room and this would be so perfect for toys. You can tuck toys in there and put the lid on and not have to look at all their stuff, right? But um, $79.99, but I think I'm gonna wait. I do run into these quite often. Okay, this basket, the weaving on this, that pattern, why did I not get that? It was $24.99. Why did I not get that? It, oh my gosh, that would have been so cute in my hallway for like laundry. Okay, this basket. Okay, you guys, I think I found a set, right? So I took this one. This was in a totally different aisle. So this is bigger and this one was $27.99. So I took this over to the other aisle, brought the little one down and put them together. 
it was bothering me so bad because the little one was super warm and the bigger one had a lot of green in it. So would that bother you guys? It was, I felt like they didn't match. I don't know. Should I have gotten those? Should I go back? I think I'm gonna go back. Okay, this lamp is a good one. I think they were asking $49.99 for this one, but the silver I wasn't crazy about, but there's nothing a can of spray paint can't do. This was a good lamp. Moving on to the furniture. This chair, surprisingly, Ross, I'm not always crazy about their furniture, but this chair was cushioned. Very nice. The gold, what do you guys think? It's a little bright, but I feel like it's cute. Is it too much? This little pink chair had the cutest shape. I could totally see something like this at Crate and Barrel. That was really cute. I think the brown brown one is where it's at. I really liked this chair. It was $84.99. The black ones were pretty sleek too. Let's move around to the desks. If you're looking for a little workspace or desk area for your house, um, this is definitely a good Crate and Barrel dupe. It kind of reminds me of that linen type. This little wooden one, they were asking $99.99 and it was a good piece of wood. I was pleasantly surprised. A nice little modern rustic style desk, very cute. I loved this gray quilted chair, very cute. They were asking $59.99 for that one. I like the shape. This desk really caught my attention. Very good quality. I love that kind of worn live edge style. Um, it was a little bit broken right there on that outlet, but I love an outlet on the side as well. But I loved those little black crosses on the side too. This was a good one. This little marble and black table caught my eye. Very cute, very sturdy, $45. And my favorite thing about this is that it has that little outlet in the side and it's perfect for like a lamp or your little charging cables. I love that for a nightstand, sofa table, very, very cute. I always look at the kitchen area in Ross because they have all of, like I said, the imported stuff. And if you're looking to fill your kitchen on an affordable budget, Ross is definitely a place to check out some kitchen stuff. And they have a lot of good quality imported items as well. This little tray was so cute. I could see like fruit on this or something, only $5.99. They also had these wooden bowls there and I loved the color of these, that darker, wood they actually had two of them there and these are so cute for like shelf styling in a kitchen you could even do these in a little hutch or console type thing around the kitchen they look super cute stacked i think these were 8.99 very pretty okay the butter dish i had to snag this butter dish it was only 3.99 i loved that it was different colors the top and the bottom. Um, these coasters, they were loaded with so many unique coasters. These white ones were really, really pretty. For only $5.99, these are such a good like hostess gift, especially around the holidays. You're, you could totally load your closet up with coasters and everybody gets coasters for Christmas. They're really cute though. I loved this. I'm pretty sure that this is a little napkin holder. The little bar on it was crooked, but I thought it was the sweetest little thing. And then that marble little charcuterie tray or whatever you wanna call it, cheese platter, $6.99. That thing was heavy. This one is also really neat. I love a good rolling pin. I am a baker and this was a good one. And this little Connect 4 game caught my eye. That is the neatest little Connect 4 game that I've ever seen. And I'm gonna try to look that up on Amazon. I didn't get it, but I should have gotten it. But so I think this trip, I had a few regrets of not picking things up. I think I was kind of in a hurry and I passed on a lot of stuff and have major regrets. So I may go back this weekend. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Valerie Aguirre. Make sure you hit the big like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like these and a lot of DIYs and home decor. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We're so glad that you're here and we'll catch you next time.